most of us use GitHub for storing code. Recently, GitHub launched something called Package Registry, and you would have seen a video on that on how to upload our Docker images or Maven artifacts into the GitHub provided package registry. Few weeks back, I created a poll on what is the video which you would like to see next, whether it is the AWS free tire blind spots or the GitHub Actions or what is Azure. And most of you voted for GitHub Actions. In this video, we are going to take a look at GitHub Actions and how can you integrate different actions created by different contributors into your CI CD pipeline inside GitHub. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Using GitHub Actions, you can automate your workflow from your code repository into your deployment environment. This could be either AWS or Azure or GCP or wherever it is. You can create your end-to-end -end CI CD pipeline using GitHub Actions right from your GitHub repository. In order to sign up into GitHub Actions, you can go to the link github.com slash features slash actions and click on the sign up for beta but however github actions is already ga and everybody will have the github actions option in their repository so there is a new tab which you could see under your repository for example this is a repository called container images under tech primers and i can see a tab called actions and this is nothing but github actions right now if you see this repository has only readme files and nothing else if you want to set up a ci cd pipeline just like that you can click on actions and github creates a automated workflow for you so that you can create the pipeline before creating the pipeline let's understand what github actions is using github actions you can have parallel workflows run based on github events these events could be pull requests or code commits or if somebody creates an issue you can create a workflow request and these are hooked into these GitHub events and you can trigger workflows based on these events. If you're already using Jenkins, then imagine GitHub Actions similar to what Jenkins provides. However, you can create these workflows within your GitHub repository itself and you don't have to navigate to a separate web page for it. Every workflow is integrated into your GitHub repository itself. If you want to see what's happening with your build, you can directly navigate to the Actions tab and you can take a look at the workflow in it so i'll show that in a bit once we create the workflow using these workflows generally people tend to build test and publish their artifacts and the build pipelines run usually on a linux machine or a mac os or a windows machine. you can define whichever os you need you can have these workflows run in parallel github actions also supports node.js python java ruby php go rust.net and and different versions of these languages. A classic example of a use case for GitHub Action is if somebody raises a pull request to your repository, you can have a build run based on the pull request. And before you can review the code, you will be able to see what are the different checks which the build went through. And you can get these feedbacks right on your pull request directly. You don't have to have any integration platform to integrate these into your repository. From my usage of GitHub Actions in the last few months, I can see there is a seamless integration between the CI CD pipeline, their steps within the repository itself. So I don't have to navigate to a separate build system or a continuous integration platform to take a look at my workflow results. All these are integrated within the repository itself and you can take a look at them right from your GitHub web page. Now, how do I create these workflows? The workflows can be created using configuration file. Obviously, everything is yaml these days so you can create a yaml file for example this is a sample ci.yaml where there are different configuration steps based on these steps your workflow will be triggered also there are different actions which you can integrate let's say you want to perform a particular task and you need to perform this task or an action in different repositories GitHub provides a way for you to create a separate repository and use that repository as an action. For example, see if somebody wants to push a Docker image, the Docker image push can be an action created by a central contributor and that can be used here directly into your YAML file. 
so all these actions are individual repos for example if i go to github.com slash actions slash checkout i can see my checkout actions likewise you can create your own action and integrate that into different workflows how to integrate them you can create a action.yaml file in your action which you have created and inside this you can have the necessary action which you want to perform based on the type of action which you want to create and this can be directly integrated into your yaml here as a part of your workflow so there is a marketplace provided by github actions team you can directly go to the marketplace and look out for different actions which have been created by different contributors i'll show a docker example in a bit finally you can have different dependencies you can define something called needs and you can have different dependencies between your steps in your workflow the other good part is github actions is completely free for public repositories all our github repositories in tech primers are public and i can integrate directly my github actions into any repository for the sake of this video i'm going to create a new repository and i'll show you how you can use github actions in it as usual let's go to our favorite place start.spring.io i'm going to create a simple maven spring boot project and i'm going to commit that into my new repository and enable github actions with a workflow in it so i'm going to call this as github hyphen actions hyphen example I'm going to add some actuator and web dependency just for the sake of it. I'll generate this project. I have unzipped it and I'm opening now in IntelliJ. There is nothing fancy here. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new repo and integrate this project with it. So this gives me some steps on how to initialize my git what i'm going to do is i'm going to enable git for this particular project so let me open the terminal git in it i also need to add my remote repository but let me add my username here so that it can detect directly i'm also going to do a git add so this will add all my files and let's commit this and then push it that's it so i've created my spring boot project and i have pushed it into my new repository called github actions example let me refresh this i can see that my github actions repo has got pushed here now in order to enable the actions i can go to the actions tab so first time i want to create something from an existing template and if you look at it github actions suggests me some default ones so it says getting started with github actions choose a workflow to build test and deploy your code make code reviews branch management and issue triaging work the way you want now this is a maven project so i am going to choose the maven option so if i click on set up this workflow this is going to create a default workflow for me using maven let's click on the setup this workflow option see that by default it has created a file called maven.yaml under the folder called github and workflows so dot github is the folder under which you can create different workflows you can name this workflow as anything so in this case i'm going to create ci.yaml instead of maven.yaml i can just provide ci.yaml and i can provide a different name to this particular workflow so i'm going to call this as continuous integration i'm not going to deploy this anywhere right now so i'm just going to name it as continuous integration that's it and by default if you see there is a event which has been integrated it says on push basically if somebody pushes any code into this repository this workflow should be triggered and that's what this this particular statement means on push the next step is jobs and then there is something called build so build defines what is the stage this is a build stage and where do we want to build it we want to build it on a ubuntu latest machine that's what it says it runs on the build runs on ubuntu latest and the first step is using the actions checkout basically i want to check out this particular project right and the version at v1 is nothing but the tag which is under this repository so previously we saw the actions repository under which we had a checkout action and 
we are now using the version one of that particular repository that is the first step so there will be first step which will just check out the repository the next step is setting up the java environment so you can define different names for each and every step the first step doesn't have any name but you can provide a name as well the second step says setting up jdk 1.8 so it just says uses actions setup hyphen java so again github actions team has provided something called setup hyphen java which provides a java runtime so we are going to use that if you are using java 11 you can change this to java 1.11 here we are using the java version 1.8 and that's why we are using something called width width is basically useful when you want to provide an argument to this particular setup java so in this case we are providing the argument as java version and the version we wanted is 1.8 and that's what we are doing here finally we are going to build our artifact using maven and that's the next step it just says build with maven and you can define your own commands if you have already in this case github actions has given me the step called maven hyphen b package file form xml so we are just going to build a project using the maven build system so that's it for now i'm not going to push this particular artifact anywhere if you want to deploy your artifacts into a cloud provider or something you can add those steps here if you look at the marketplace options in the right hand side you can see that different featured actions are present here you can search for different actions and you can add them for example if you want to deploy into azure you can definitely get those azure specific marketplace options and then add them here the moment i click on for example the azure login i can see that this is a specific marketplace actions which i can add on to my workflow so i don't want azure right now but let's say i want to uh, get something for docker so i need to build this particular maven image as a docker image and i need to get it i can select a particular version of a contributor library and i can use that and these are the documentation information of this particular action let's try picking one called docker if you want to look at the marketplace listing you can directly click on this and this will take you to the complete information for example this particular docker push has a documentation on how you can use it see that there is a build and push for docker hub there's a build and push option for github package and amazon ecr these are different contributor libraries if you notice these are contributor libraries provided by the open source contributors and these are not github specific actions and you can use these action links and directly integrate them into this particular workflow right now i'm not going to do that but that is how you can integrate different actions into your workflow so let's try to commit this and see what happens the moment i commit it i don't see any option here but i need to go to the actions tab so the moment i click on actions tab i can see that there are different workflows in it there is a workflow called continuous integration if you remember that is the workflow which we named it with and you can see that this workflow is running on master it got triggered 13 seconds ago on a push and the moment i click on continuous integration and this allows me to see different stages on what's happening and the logs are just rolling here so this is basically a ci cd pipeline inside my github repository itself and this particular action got triggered based on my push onto this particular repo see that right now my build maven is running before that setup java was run java 8 version is uh, getting used before that my code got checked out so these are the different uh, commands which it ran to just check out my code and let's look at the final stage yeah looks like the build maven got succeeded i can see my whole maven logs here the build took 20 seconds let's see the maven success yeah the maven build success is here and finally the job got completed and it just cleaned up your processes which it created in the background so this is a workflow inside github action so basically it is a ci cd pipeline inside your github repository for open source projects it is completely free and you can use this for building your artifacts publishing them onto your package registry if you have any or deploy into any cloud provider from your repository itself i found github actions to be pretty useful and it was pretty amazing how the seamless integration of github actions is present within a github repository if you want to try out github actions definitely clone this repository i will leave the link for this particular repository in the description below or you can create a new repository and do the steps what i did to get github actions working i hope you found this particular video interesting and useful let me know if you have any specific use case targeting with github actions i can definitely give it a try 
as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much